My name is Evan Heitzman. I have two sons. My younger son, Christopher, is 19, and he is my special child. When Chris was born, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I knew instantly something wasn't right. But I did not know what that was. And he had multiple, multiple health issues. He was spiking fevers. He had very low muscle tone. He couldn't eat. He couldn't hold things in his hands. There was just an array of things going on. Ultimately, he did receive an autism diagnosis at a major hospital in this area. And then he kind of got tagged as autistic. But there was always other things going on that I could never quite get answers to until I came to CNNH. And I felt like looking at him apart from his diagnosis opened up treatment options. At CNNH, I have utilized I w the behavioral component, a sleep component, and the neurological component to provide a, a good care package for Chris. When my son was evaluated, his behaviors were evaluated. And then because of the set of behaviors he was exhibiting, certain tests were run. And then we did the EEGs and we found that he had very unusual brainwave activity. And because of his brainwave activity, a medication was tailored. And it was just amazing the difference for the better. At CNNH, there's more flexibility and freedom of thought in what the care provider can, can do. And we ended up doing genetic testing and we, we did two rounds. And in the second round of testing, we found out some amazing things that have been extremely beneficial. What we found at the end of the day was that he has a very rare genetic disorder. And when you read about this genetic disorder, it's like a checklist of our son's life. Thank goodness he wasn't pigeonholed as only autistic at CNNH because it turns out that's a small piece of him, but that's not all of him. So we're just so grateful that the inquisitive, you know, refusal to give up to really get to the core of what's causing certain symptoms is encouraged and alive and well at CNNH because it, it's just given us, just, I can't describe in words um, how valuable that information is to us.